So there I was one day, sitting at my broken computer on one of my various desks that I have in my room, searching YouTube, searching reviewers for ideas to steal. I mean, just looking at my absolutely massive Transformers collection, looking for ideas to make a video out of. And that's when I stumbled upon these two inglorious bastards sitting there on my shelves. I've been wanting to talk about these two for a long while now, and today's the day that I finally do so. So, in this video, we are going to be diving in with the original Revenge of the Fallen Sideways and the new Transformers Studio Series, Revenge of the Fallen Sideways. And we'll start with none other than the OG, the original Deluxe Class Audi R8 Accurate sideways from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. This is a very nice figure. The alt mode looks nice, it rolls well, the plastic feels wonderful, I absolutely adore the silver, I love this vehicle mode, I love the windscreen and the colors, but this thing does not hold together well whatsoever. He falls apart with the slightest, slightest touch. And tabbing this guy back in is just such a struggle. Nothing really enjoys lining up unless you absolutely force it to, and even then, stuff will continue to pop apart. It's one of the biggest takeaways with this figure. But all in all, I do think that the alt mode wins this round of comparison. It looks nicer than the Studio Series, which actually couldn't get the Audi R8 licensing this time. Not exactly sure why, but it feels better, it looks better, it's just accurate, it looks nice. Getting down into the transformation for this figure, if I'm being honest, it's very, very fiddly. It's very uh, dependent on order of operations. You can't really just explode this guy and expect everything to every piece to go where it, it, it's supposed to. You have to work with this thing and you have to take your time with it. Uh, similar to Battle Trap that I reviewed uh, last time that I've realized later on, he's just some figures you just have to practice more with. So first thing I like to do is just pop out the arms right here. It's kinda, again, it's kind of fucking fiddly. Fucking get... Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna completely contradict myself right here, but I'm just going to blow him the fuck up Because this seems easier at the moment. So pop all of this out. Take this piece right here. Fold it up. Make sure the little windows right here Fold up first. There you have the backpack of sorts right there. Okay, the head just wants to flip up already. rotate these side pieces up like so. Take the legs. What do you do with the legs? What do you do? Okay. Just fold them out. You can chicken leg him or you can keep his legs straight. I personally prefer keeping his legs straight because he just looks taller and more imposing that way. And I have to figure out how to do this because I always forget these little wheel assemblies right here, they're on double hinges, as you can see right there. So that's pretty finicky to work with. But I am going to get it. There we go, got it. And then let's take this little black, where, where is it, black tab right there and just peg it into, ah, come on, you asshole. Come on, come on, come on, thank you. All right, there we go. There is one leg right there. It's gonna do same thing on the other side. Just fold all of this down, make sure all of that is where you want it to be. Okay, just pop the damn leg off, sweet. This is a very fiddly figure. It's just one of those that I usually like to talk myself into working through because this is not the most fun transformation and it's even worse to try and attempt it on camera. I'm going to solve that off camera real quick. Alright, so once you got the legs all done, I just like to uh, take this little red piece, fold that out, fold the tires in, and collapse all of this 
like so, and there will be a peg right here that tabs into a slot right there, so just get that tabbed in. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Fold up. I'll fold these pieces to the side. Like so. Fold the arms out. Take this backpack assembly, hinge it up. And then just make sure these tabs right here go in these little indents right there. And once you got that sorted out, you can make sure he's looking like he's not gonna fall to bits right in your hands and boom there is revenge of the fallen sideways all transformed in robot mode and we'll get into some of my issues with this robot mode here in just a minute now the robot mode is where a lot of my issues with this guy definitely start to show through a little bit. He just feels off in this mode. He's very lanky. He has a lot of problems that I'll start getting into now. Like, for starters, the very, very tiny feet. They're super disproportionate and they have a lot of trouble holding up this guy's heavy, heavy body weight. Like, I mean, seriously, you place this guy down and nine times out of ten you're gonna have a lot of trouble getting him to stand and he's very prone to falling over with just the slightest touch of a tiny little pencil he just dies right then right there and it's very very sad his feet should not be this small and yeah this guy does not like staying together in this mode either he has a lot of vehicle mode kibble he's very very loose it drags him down he has a lot of springs for some reason for absolutely unnecessary gimmicks this backpack sucks these little window pieces absolutely love falling off the head doesn't stay in place he doesn't stand up he doesn't stand he doesn't do anything he's supposed to do it's very very pathetic quite honestly and i'm getting kind of mad because he's so frustrating okay so articulation for this guy he's he's pretty poseable he's got a lot of joints on him but he's just so fucking awkward and his arms are just way too disproportionate to like the rest of his entire being that he just looks very very odd in certain poses so for starters we have a ball joint at the head can look up that far down practically not at all cannot do any sort of head tiltage but it can rotate a full 360 shoulders are on weird armature ball joints that are on hinges it's very weird but you do get uh, 2009 butterflies, which is pretty cool. They can do a full 360, can move out that far, and that far he has a bicep swivel. Uh, elbows can bend all of the way, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and this, the, the arms are actually different for some reason. This arm has a chainsaw on it, so that's pretty cool if you want to find a way to make that useful. It does have a waist Swivel, hips can kick forward that far, they can move backward that far. They can pop off if you try to move them outward. They can move out that far and in that far. He does have quite a few joints here at the shins. Again, you can like chicken leg him if you want. And he has a knee bend, bend in that far, and his ankles are on ball joints, so you can get all of that wiggly waggly motion and out. Hurt my fucking arm. But, uh, yeah. This figure is very poseable, but he is just so awkward to try and do anything with at all. Something positive that I will mention is that this figure is very nicely detailed. And they didn't really have to try, given that this design was barely in the movie, but I'm happy that it's still here. And now, getting into the figure that has the much less nice alt mode... Studio Series Sideways is a very, very nifty little redesign. I do like this guy, and he's a lot more accurate, uh, not in vehicle mode, but in robot mode, he's a lot more accurate to the on-screen model, and I do appreciate that. 
He rolls very, very well. He's compact. He's very solid. He feels really, really nice. Count how many times I've said really in this video. Underside kibble is very nicely managed. He looks quite solid for this little inaccurate car mode. And unlike his predecessor, he will actually stay relatively intact if you squeeze this guy a little too hard, if you maybe drop him down on a desk. He looks very weird when you actually pull his arms out like this, but other than that, he goes back together very well. He's not as fiddly as the original 09 figure. And even though, because as stated before, they could not get the licensing for the Audi R8, I do think that this car mode does the job and it gets the point across quite well. So, getting into Transformers Studio Series Sideways' transformation, it's actually very, very simple and it's a lot of fun uh, compared to this guy, but we'll get into that <laughs> later. Actually, I already got into that, but we'll make more comparisons later, that's what I mean. Uh, first thing I like to do is just pop out the arms, similar to the other one, and just hinge them on these little hinges right here. It's a lot of them, so be weary of that. Fold out the little grill right here. I guess that just gives him a little belly. Pop out the legs, fold them down on the ball joints, like so. Take all of this, just rotate it up, like the Revenge of the Fallen original deluxe, just fold the window pieces out to the side and collapse all of this in. How do you do this? I forgot. <laughs> Here you go. Just uh, make sure you get all of this collapsed down. Make sure that's just folded back, fold the arms back. Come on, how do you do this? Oh, wait, yeah. Okay, so there's a bunch of hinges that you just hinge up and make sure this back piece sits flush like so. Okay, straighten the legs out. Cool. Take the hands, fold them in like so. And the fingers are articulated, which is pretty cool. And stand him up. There you have Studio Series Sideways in his robot mode. And yeah, he looks pretty decent. I, I do like the way this guy looks, honestly. Now, of course, this figure is not without its flaw, but for what it's worth, I do think that this guy looks absolutely superb. He is menacing, he gets the point across with his very insectoid looking face and his very big metal claws. He looks great in every single pose that you can really get this guy in just as long as you can keep some of the loose joints managed. I think he looks wonderful. This figure, first of all I should probably mention that these little panels do flip out too. This figure comes with his... Video game accurate cannon, which is really cool. Let me focus in on that. That is a really cool triple barrel cannon right there. I'm, and I'm really happy that they included this because it is very cool. We didn't get to see this guy really use a weapon before he got killed off. And how you just slide this in here and you just open the hand and you make and you see this little uh, hole right here. This uh, this little tab right here, right here, that my finger's on, will just slide right into that. So just slide tab into hole, close thumb, and thumb will actually peg right into the side. And boom, he has his game accurate cannon, which I just think is so cool. And they did not have to do that, but they did, and that is just so, so sweet. Now, this figure does have a very similar issue to the original, that being the feet. They're really loose and they cannot hold up this guy's body weight. I quite literally cannot stand him. And there's an audio cut right here. Because this guy is actually quite posable. He doesn't look awkward in any of the poses that you really get him in either. He does have a ball joint at the head. You can get all of that wiggly waggly motion. It can look up that far, look down. 
practically not at all. It cannot do a full 360 just due to the nature of the design right there. Shoulders can do a full 360. They are on ball joints. You can hinge them down too if you want, but that's mainly for transformation. Uh, does have bicep, uh, fucking ball joints at the biceps. I can't speak right now. I don't know why. They can bend forward that far, which is honestly pretty decent for what it's worth. Fingers are on hinges, waist swivel, hips can kick forward that far, they can move backward that far, they can move outward that far. He does have a swivel at the uh, knee right there, which I don't really like below the knee swivels, but okay. And he does have ball joints at the feet, which are pretty, pretty loose. So, oh yeah, he does have a bend at the knee as well. So, uh, yeah, articulation for this guy is pretty alright. You can pull off some pretty nice poses with this guy that, once again, you just can't really do with this figure. But we will compare how these two look in poses later on. But overall, I do think that this figure looks so much better than the original Deluxe. He feels better too. He just is better. I think that this guy is a wonderful figure. I totally recommend him and I recommend the old one as well. There is a lot here to enjoy for kids and collectors alike, which is very important. And overall, he does pose a lot better than the old one, as I have been saying. He doesn't look as fragile, he looks a lot more proportionate. So I do think that these both still have a very prominent place in my collection. One is a charming figure from 2009, and the other is a very nice compact action figure of Sideways from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. So if you enjoyed today's video and would like to see more, please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. This has been That Nerd Isaac 2006 rolling out. Peace.